cost concerns impacting everybody. Inflation in the U.S. keeps rising. The Consumer Price Index has increased 9.1 percent in the last 12 months, the largest increase since November of 1981. Costs have surged for energy, gas, food, rent, dental care. That's according to the latest report released today by the Bureau of Labor Statistics. KPRC 2's Brittany Jeffers has more on how this spike could impact your spending. Economists say the long and the short of it is we are dealing with these higher prices, whether it's paying for utilities or putting gas in our car. The question that remains right now is how long it will last. From the gas pump to the grocery store, price increases highlight the brutal impact inflation has inflicted on many households. And now new numbers released this morning shows U.S. inflation has reached a new 40-year high. The Consumer Price Index, or CPI, hit 9.1 percent in June, up from 8.6 percent in May, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. For the time being, though, we're all looking at paying more at the pump. We're looking at more paying more for rent, housing. Food, all the basics. I spoke with Parker Harvey, the principal economist for Gulf Coast Workforce Solutions, about how this impacts consumers. The first thing, really, the first thing I thought about was, well, what's going to happen to interest rates going forward? And the response, mainly by our by our central bank, Federal Reserve, they've already shown a willingness to raise rates by as much as 75 basis points with the last, um, I think, May's meeting, and we're probably looking at that and possibly even more. And the goal there is to try to slow things down a bit so that we can finally get back to inflation numbers that look a little more normal. As prices soar, families will likely continue to feel the strain. How long it lasts again is really the big unknown here. So now something to point out is the fact that gasoline has gone down slightly here in the Houston area. Today, you'll pay about $4.20 a gallon for unleaded gasoline. That's down three cents from yesterday. In southwest Houston, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC 2 News.